Okay, hi boys and girls. It's time for story time. I'm so glad you're back. I had, I hope you had a great time at recess and that you had a healthy snack. So I want you to get nice and comfortable right now and we're gonna read a story, okay? Here we go. Oh no, here goes that doorbell again. Let's see who it is this time. Are you ready? Boys and girls, look who it is. It's Pastor Hey, Brad. how's it going? Good to see you all. Pastor Brad here. I'm going to read you a story. It's called Zero. Can I do that for you guys? Come on with me. So here we are. I'm going to read this story. Have you heard this story before? If you have, I hope it reminds you of some things. If you haven't, I hope this will be really great instruction for you. The title is Zero. Zero was a big, round number. When she looked at herself, she saw a hole right in her center. See, right there? Every day she watched the numbers line up. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And she wanted to count two. But how could a number worth nothing become something? Zero felt empty inside. She watched one having fun with the others. One was solid and strong with bold strokes and square corners. Zero was big and round and no corners at all. If I were like one, then I could count two, she thought. So she pushed and she pulled, she stretched and she straightened, she forced and flattened and finally became zero. She sighed, becoming one was too much of a stretch. Eight and nine rolled onto the scene if you doubled yourself up, you'd be like me, said eight. So zero twisted and turned and tried to be eight. Or you could be nine with a longer line, said nine. So zero pinched and puckered to try to be nine. But zero could only be zero. We're on our way to join the others. Come count with us, they said. Zero felt deflated. Eight and nine were numbers with value. Of course, they'd count. How could they know how she felt? Zero had a new thought. If she could impress the numbers, that would give her value. She'd leap, she'd soar, she'd sizzle, she'd shine. She'd make a grand entrance and floor them all. And faster, Zero began to roll faster and faster and faster, she leaped, flying, soaring, rocketing, right into one, who knocked over two, who fell into three and four, toppling five and six, who crashed into seven and eight, where they all ended up on a big pile of nine. And the numbers were bent out of shape. They weren't happy, were they? It's no use trying, sobbed zero. I'll never be of value. I'll never be part of the count, she said. It's what's inside that counts most, pointed out seven. Zero looked at herself, but what if I don't have anything inside? Every number has value, said seven. Be open, you'll find a way. Suddenly, Zero saw herself in a new light. I'm not empty inside, I'm open. Zero rolled up to the numbers. I thought a way for us to count even more, she said. Count more, asked four. Count us in, exclaimed seven. Lead the way, said one. Everyone counts, they shouted. Zero jumped in, then leaped high and said, here's something now we can all try. If we help each other soar, we can even count more. Let's count again, starting with 10. Count with me, you see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and what's next? 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 
a million. We do count more they cheered. Zero and the numbers explored and had fun, bringing more value to everyone. And this time, when she looked at herself, she felt whole right in her center. Wasn't that a great story? A great book of how everyone has value. No matter our size, our shape, we're all valued in God's eyes. And we all know that we've been made in the image of God. So therefore, we know that we are God's and belong to him. So I'm so glad that you allowed me to come in and be your mystery reader today. And I hope you enjoyed this time. I enjoyed it being with you guys. Well, we miss you here at school. We can't wait for you guys all to get back. But make sure you guys are behaving at home, doing what mom and dad tell you to do, and the homework that Mrs. Severson has for you. So it was great being with you all. God bless you. Aw, thank you, Pastor Brad.